G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zorboodle and welcome back to Fountains of Youth in the brand new update that only just came out. There's new weapons, new materials, new tools, new islands to explore and a new storyline to follow as well, which I am just frothing about. I'm so excited to be back in this game. So I'm picking up exactly where I left off on the Windy Island, gotta take my boat back to my base and get all my stuff sorted out again. It's gotta be good. I've been waiting for this for so long. It's been a little while since I played this game. There's the water temple over there, but I do have, while I'm sailing back to base again, in here somewhere. Here we go. In the footsteps of the captain. The captain, accompanied by geographer Jacob Eliasso, Sean, left to explore the underwater temple. It's time to finally meet the captain. Uh, sail to the Puma region. Need to find the underwater temple mentioned in the diary. It appears to be located far from Copper Island. I should prepare myself for the journey. Oh, yeah, oh, right. Yeah, oh, I remember this now. Okay, so Copper Island is where my base is. Windy Island is where I just left. So somewhere out here, water temple, Puma Island. That sounds safe. What could possibly go wrong invading an island of giant hungry cats? There's my little house up on the clifftop up there, looking lovely and still intact, which is half the battle. Easy. Dock you up. All right, good. Well, did I leave anything in my storage chests? Oh my goodness, yes I did. I've got so many things and so many books to read as well. I'm gonna get all of you back up to my house. Put some things away wherever it needs to go. I forgot. I forgot I had so much stuff stashed away in here. I've got everything on that boat. I'm slow as anything, but I haven't forgotten that I can use my lamps to light my fire and then use that to light you. Got some sticks, add some fuel, get you cooking up nicely. 100% chance of ignition you should be. Yeah, you yeah, um. Fire makes fire really easily, apparently. Nice. Okay, I can now extinguish you and just get you to cook me up. However many you can, I don't really mind too much. Get all of you going. I'm still way down like you wouldn't believe. I've got to find places for everything. I forgot how cumbersome the storage is in this game. You only take 80 kegs of loot in each one of these boxes, and I'm currently holding 140. I've tried my best to try and get storage going. I've got one box up that's already chockers. Got another one here that needs some long sticks for, which is just over by the big angry lizards just over near the cliffs over there. So I'll do that tomorrow. Well, I've got a little bit of energy remaining. I'm going to read my treatise on science of weapons. So throwing effects and drawing. I'm going to read both of you. Sure, just read them all. Read them all night long. <laughs> read them until you get sleepy. Perfect. Before I set out on a big adventure as well, make sure that my hats and everything else is still up and at them. You're good. Bandolier, get you repaired too, using all my broad leaves. That one as well, increases sun protection. I need narrow leaves for that one. Hold your horses, there you go. Plenty of them. Repair you too. There we go, we're looking schmick. I think I've got myself as sorted out as I'm going to get. The sun is rising, it's a brand new day. I need to fill up my flasks with uh with some water before i go you've got no salt water in you but you should have a good amount nice a good amount of water to fill up my bamboo with take all of that for a great big adventure on the bleak blue wet thing all right rock and roll pidgey it's your house now. Look after it like it was your own nest. I'll see you hopefully in just a little bit so the map said that i had to go it says windy island red island santa maria I've already been through the Red Island. There was nothing over there, although there's a couple of things to collect, but that's okay. So Windy Island, Copper Island, and it said out this way. So I'm assuming here, yeah, here we go. Unknown region. The Spanish way, find nearest islands, all pieces of native's map. Only one more of those, but learn the blueprint for a better ship. Now there is a new ship in the new update I don't have yet, but okay. You need to be at the helm of a ship to fire travel. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I gotta go whack onto the old steery thing on the big soggy raft and see if I can get out there. A better ship. Hopefully doesn't tell me nah and I can get there on my canoe, but this might be a bit dicey. Right down the ramp, please don't, oh, don't break your ankles. No, we're fine, we're fine. You, take the helm, I'm like two thirds healthy, so we're all right then. Map, regions, you, confirm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Off to a brand new, a brand new place. Here we go. 
The new joint step sail to the Puma region has been passed. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> that looks inviting and not at all ominous. I'm sure nothing bad will happen over there in the skull that's spewing lava. What else we got? Anything tall that I can go and start mapping the region with? I did remember this time to bring some ropes. I've learned from my past uh, misgivings. Got snacks, got medicine. I thought I had medicine. I don't have any of the steam bandages. I should have brought those with me. Maybe I've got some in you. I do not. All right, I left some essential things behind. We'll see if we can make it work. But is this the underwater temple that I was supposed to go and find? Start mapping to find resources. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Hold on a second. Let's not drown. I did also bring the ink and quill to... Oh. To unlock some things. Okay. Okay. All right. You're all good. Give me one of those, please. Uh, huh. Go for a bit of a swim. This has got to be it. This has got to be that underwater temple. Look how big and stonking it is. How the hell they built that with that scuba deer? I'll, uh, I'll never know. <laughs> Maybe they did. Maybe they sucked on puffer fish to make it work for them. All right. Well, I'm here. Map you. Start mapping. Going to take 11 minutes. I'm not very high up, but give me something to work with. Yeah, here we go. Special objects and massive stones and everything exciting. There's some living water. Who needs the fountain of youth when someone's bottled it for you? Thank- Oh! Oh! Ah, you bitch! I've got the wrong bloody thing out. I can't defend myself. I'm holding a bow and arrow. Come here. Gotcha. Right. That's not particularly the start that I was hoping for. I will take the feathers out of you. Cheers, big ears. And I might even just like, you know what? You know what? Listen, you're going to come down here and start sinking your talons into me. I'll feed you to the fishies. Uh, get, well, I, mean, I fed myself to the fishies. Did, did you go down there too? Nah, you got caught on the rug. <laughs> I can't even do that right. Here, come here. In you go. There you go, lads. Have a feast. There's the harpy's nest just up there. Do you reckon there's anything more Ooh, waiting for me around here? A flint shard. Thank you. I... Didn't bring any fire lighting stuff with me, but there are a couple of cauldrons around. Can I light my torch out of you? You... No, but I do actually have my magnifying glass fire starter. If it gets a little sunny, I'll be able to use it. But I can't just stick it into the flame and light it that way. That's a little... That's, that's a little bit of a shenanigan. Anything else around, though? Just some sticks. Another piece of flint, so it would be lovely. Or is this can't be it? There's a whole underwater temple. This can't be it. I mean, I suppose it's underwater. I suppose the way in is down there somewhere. I feel like this is going to have something to do with it, right? There's a giant boulder on a raft all the way at the CP top. Can I... There's a couple of ruins around here as well. But can I just, like, beat you off the edge? Can I... Can I hit you off the side? No. But I'm going to assume that that... I mean, that also, that little uh, brazier down there is still on, so that might be the way to go. All right, let's get back down to the water and start swimming about. Oh, not that way. No stairs. <laughs> Can I fill up one of my flasks with air, please? Water's fine. There's plenty of it. It's more just breathing I'm concerned about. This is the only side of this pyramid that doesn't have a set of stairs going up to it, so it's got to be here, right? It's got to be here. At least that's a bold assumption of me. Please prove me right. Oh! Uh, uh, okay. Ah! Ooh. What are you? I'm sorry, what? There's an electric stingray down here? Ah, uh, just no? How about fucking nah on that one, champion? Did I bring, did I bring my harpoon at all? I don't think I did. I did not. Okay, I probably left some things that are probably pretty valuable back on the other island. I'm about to go get them. Ah! At some point. Please stop falling into the water and trying to break your legs. Oh, here we go, though. Oh, here we go. Like a raid in the pyramid in Egypt. Up the grand staircase we go. I'd love to go into the, into the pyramids in Egypt, dude. Go and explore all the, like, the ancient civilizations built. That'd be so freaking cool. All right. Into the king's chamber, though. Go inside the temple. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you'd be very popular with a tongue that big. All right, well, I'll make and tell time with his digits. Got an extra book. Thank you. What are you going to give me? Mapping effects. Not too bad. I'll give that a go at some point, but... 
So what do you do? Pull the lever, Kronk. Well, it wasn't the wrong lever, but... I assume at some point I'll find, like, a code that I have to make this match up with. I could just, like, play with paddles all day and figure it out, but... Ooh, now here we go. Mechanism scheme. So what are you going to tell me? The plate shows how the, how the mechanism in underwater temple can be activated. Looks like I need to find three monoliths and read the signs on them. Monoliths are located underwater somewhere near the temple. Sick. Fucking peachy. So, right. All right, I guess, I guess go swimming with the sparky sparky manta rays and hope I don't get shriveled. What could go wrong with that? There's a whole other area just like up the top up there. It's on the other side of a palisade that I don't... I, I guess maybe that opens when I get the mechanism right. That probably makes the most amount of sense. All right, well, cool bananas. I can't light anything on you, can I? No. Got some sweet chandeliers going on though. Oh, and some big serpenty gods. All right, I'm going to get back out there then and see if I can find these obelisks. I might need to go back and get myself the um, the, the harpoon, the boar tusk harpoon, because I feel like finding these things in all the underwater nopeness down here is going to be a fast track to my own death. I'm just going to try and be a little bit brave about it and see if I can explore some of these other ruins before I leave. There's no point holding the spear, Josh. But <laughs> don't ask what difference between a spear and a harpoon is other than one can be used underwater and one apparently can't. How... Ooh, okay. How deep do you reckon these monoliths are going to be? Are you in here? Are you, are you... Is there anything in here or is there just nothing? Hmm. Okay. I feel like it'll be obvious, right? If I find one, it'll be like real bloody obvious. Get your air back. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. There's not a lot. Mm, I'm just going to swim around in circles for a long time, make friends with the fishies and hope I find it. Oh, here we go. This looks like it has more potential. It's a much deeper part of the pool. The same ruinous temple thing. Oh, are you something? Nope, you're just a bit of brick. That's a bit of brick as well. There's definitely like a marble floor down here though. Or is that sand? I can't even bloody tell. <laughs> this is going to be a long trip. That looks like something over there. There is something... With, oh, I'm going to get air. There is something with writing on it out in between the temples. All right, let's just get back up. We'll go get my boat and see if we can park ourselves on top of it. <gasps> oh, you're not choking. Calm down. You have plenty of time. Just like keep your lips sealed for another moment or two and you'll be absolutely fine. Don't have to start slurping up the seawater like it's a squishy that's made of all syrup. Jump onto you. And I reckon... I reckon if I had to guess... We might actually, oh, jeez. All right there, superstar. You got a bit of a list. I like, turned my head to try and see what was going on. Oh, they got right on the piss. I reckon it's down there. I reckon it's down there. Watch for the sparky, sparky boom, boom, boys. Of which there's several lurking around this place. Right, okay. Do I have to, like, touch you or something? Red monolith looks like the sign of the red circle of a mechanism in the temple. Okay, so it needs to be... So it's red archway. Do I need to, like, jot this down or something? Can you keep track of this for me? Because I know I can't. Ah, go away. It started to rain, but for the moment, I'm just making a little, like, note of what the little icon looks like down on that obelisk. All right. I reckon... So if you were there... This is kind of out in the middle of the ocean. So there might be anything down here... Oh, but there is something down here. Okay, so this... Oh, there's another one all the way over there too. Oh, that's the wrong button. Right, so blue... Blue is a swirly sun. And then yellow looks like a like an atomic little diagram kind of thing. I might actually go and have a gander at that. Wasn't there like a... Yeah, there we go. I forgot what the button was to get my Etsy vision going on. Blue monolith, little swirly sun... Thank you. I'll go and check that one over there as well. I forgot I could use Etsy Go. I forgot I had Eagle Vision. That definitely makes it much easier to find the obelisks when I can use my sixth sense not to see dead people, but see the trails of dead people. Excuse me, Sparky Boys. So it's just a triangle with three circles. Gotcha. Interact with you. Thank you. That's all the three that I need. Let's get back onto the boat, back into the sunken pyramid and see what the mechanism does. Let's go play with the big boy tongue. All right, comma, let's do this. So the yellow, according to my notes, was that one. 
Right there. So I need to activate the yellow toggle. Do you spin clockwise or anti-clockwise? Nah, you're perfect. Okay, nice. The red one was the archway. It was all the way on the other side. It's going to play with your lever just that little bit all the way around to you. And then the blue one was the sp uh, spirally sun. So that one there. There you go. There you go. Activate the mechanism. Has been passed. The palisades have dropped. Anything good? Use, ooh, use my Ezio vision to start learning about... Oh, jeez. Learning about some things. Yeah, you've had a... You've had a bit of a bad day there, haven't you, Cobber? Well, the good news for you is that you weren't shot in the head like the last couple of people I found were. Jacob Eliasso's diary. I'll grab you. Ooh, cheeky cutscene. I love the cutscenes. The travelers found ancient wall carvings in the underwater temple. The symbols and drawings helped them decipher the map that Chief Gaibana had given to Ponce de Leon. The commander and the geographer rejoiced. They could see how to navigate through the Beamini Belt, open the sea gate to Beamini Bay, and reach the Fountain of Youth. But they were not destined to leave this place. From the shadows of the temple, the travelers were attacked by a mysterious killer. Geographer Jacob Beliasso died here. The fate of Ponce de Leon is unknown. Perhaps the undercurrents carried away his corpse. The killer took the map and became the only person who knew the safe route to Bimini. He headed to the San Cristobal, the only place he could go from here. My god, what is he going to do with the crew? All right, so I, uh, I take it back. Turns out old mate was brutally murdered. Wasn't shot in the head though, just bonked on the noggin and <laughs> that's a bit of a way to go out. Can I can I light my torch please? I really, really like to. I have no chance of ignition because I'm not outside. There's no sun to use and I can't use you at all. All right, well, unlucky cobber. Sweet purple vest though. Ancient drawing, investigate you. Song of unity with some important symbols. All right. I have to read all that another time. It's a lot. It's a lot of reading, and I can barely get past picture books. Oh, <laughs> how did I not see that the first time? You can see the obelisk, the red obelisk, from the doorway to the underwater. Oh, that's not particularly observant by me. Got four eyes, and none of them work. But that should surprise no one. There's also a cheeky little surprise for me uh, out in the fluids. Has um. Has my boat just suddenly got super duper unstable? I feel like it almost capsized every couple of seconds. Well, there's no point in going back to the, the windy, no, the copper island where I used to live just yet. I want to go and see what old mate over here is doing. He's got so many good ideas. They're pouring out of his melon. It looks, it looks really ominous. It looks like something out of Alien or something. I'm going to get attacked by Xenomorphs. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Well, it's rainy and night time. What better time to go exploring somewhere new and scary? Just pull on up out the front here. That looks like it should work out pretty well. Can you just hold on to all of this extra stuff that I've picked up along the journey? You and you and you. All of that. I've got an extra buffalo potion. I'll hold on to you. Uh, all of that can come with me, I think. I need an extra flint shot, actually, to make myself some flints. I'm a little bit peckish. Chuck you in. A little bit thirsty as well. Chuck that in soon. All right. Well, <laughs> ready or not, here I go. Hup. Made the jump. It's always the first step. Find the Iron Ar Island has been complete. And I have to find the Foggy Island as well. That's the Foggy Island as far as I can tell. I should disembark and find the scientists and find the engineer. There's something burning inside that mountain. What? <laughs> There's... There's something burning inside that mountain. You think? Great observation. So this is called... Oh, look at that. Oh, and there's a doggo there as well. Alrighty, dighty then. I'll stay away from you. So this is called the Iron Island, much like the Copper Island. I assume somewhere here... Oh, there's wolves everywhere. I will find some iron veins. I need to get some elevation though to do my, uh, my mapping to find out where I am. Do you reckon I can climb that tree? Is that a cartography tree? <laughs> yes, I don't need to start the mapping process to map it all out, but 
Surely you can figure that out from a distance. Look how big the bloody thing is. The Barky boys down there are making their presence known. G'day, buds. Um... I'm on top of like this little archway thing. This might be about as good as I could really hope for at the moment. Start mapping. I hate me. I ha I really, I left, it's back on the boat. I left my bloody uh, ink pot and feather, my quill back on the boat. All right, well, let's go get that then. Risk life and limb. Silly, bloody silly of you, Joshy. Oh no, oh no, he found me. Oh, he found me. I need to get to the lot. I can't see anything. It's way too dark as dicks in this cave. Yeah, you better run. You better run. Scared of the wet star fire. I'm bloody lucky. Look at him. Look at him calling in all his friends. Well, I might be super brave and have a nap instead. See if I can make it through till morning. Heart made of... Who else were sleeping? Why? Because I'm, I'm, I'm soaked. Oh. Uh, well, I can't do much about that right now. So instead, I'm just going to have a snooze in you. Sleep till morning. I figure... I'm I figure that my mapping skills will be better in the daytime. You, come with me for to take a couple of them. I'm not thirsty. I'm not hungry. I'm all good to go. Nice. The wolf is still waiting for me. I'm not going to get my bow out because as soon as I do, he'll charge me. Like that. Oh, uh, yeah. Push you away. Stab you right in the melon. Yeah, look at you now. Ah, what? How, how did you nibble on me? Oh, God, there's two. Okay, okay. Yeah, yep, just deflect up and then stab you a little bit. I've got a big spear. I'm not afraid to, ah, not afraid to use it. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit. Maybe I'm a little bit. I'm not that brave yet. I'm back up on top of the archway. It is mighty foggy, but I'm going to try and map it all out anyway. Current altitude, we should be fine. All right. The weather, oh, the weather is much too poor. I should skip ahead using tea. I tried that. I've gone all the way through to midday. Just like go hour by hour, I suppose, until hopefully, ooh. At some point, what is that? What's the way all the way out there? I can't even, is that the, the temple? No, I wouldn't think so. There's an awful lot of lanterns. I reckon it might be the temple. It might, what else would have that many lanterns lit on it? But either way, the fog is still there, so I can't see Dickens anyway. It's now cloudy, is that? Yeah, it was the temple. All right, nice, good. This is definitely clear enough to get some mapping done. You map, map away. Some jackals, a bird's nest, some dragon fruit, a born. You barely even found anything. It looks three feet away and went, yeah, no, that's fine. Look how far we can see. That looks like a snake hiding out next to the harpy's nest. Walk across the totally safe, not all flammable wooden bridge across the lava stream. Sit you down. Thank you for giving my spear immediately back to me. Okay, I've got to gotta try and find a way. I want to go and find the little emblem that was on the side of the mountain up there somewhere. Although this is the puma region. So I assume there's going to be pumas all over the freaking shop. Cop that, please. No, give me that one back. Thank you. Anything of value? Anything good? Ooh, no, that's just the boats. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Where was that icon on the side of the mountain? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That is a big problem for me. There is a puma there. Probably should, have, probably should have seen it coming a mile away, but, well, I gotta try and risk it for the biscuit. Do I back myself in with my spear or run away crying? I like how it gets all shady and ominous, like I've gone to the elephant's graveyard and some lion with a scar is watching me. Little obelisk over here. I'll grab that leaf and a couple of those flowers. Oh, look at him. Don't turn your back, Josh, as I immediately turn my back. He will sneak up on you in no time, and you will be a big leopard's breakfast. So that icon on the mountain I was looking for is a jaguar head. All right. Oh, goodness. There is a lot more here than I was really anticipating. We've managed to avoid that jaguar, though. Now I'm on the other side of some prickly pine, so I should be okay. <gasps> hey, little piggly. Oh, Okay, apparently either the pigglies get very, very snacky or that doesn't particularly look good for me. There's a torch on the ground over here. Can I grab that? It's in the middle of the stone, so I guess not. If there's little pigglies, where's Mama Pig? I probably don't want to get caught between the two, but 
Oh, this feels like an arena. This feels like an arena that's bad for me. There's like a cart and treasure and stuff up in the mountain somewhere. All right, fair play. I'll get up there as, oh, as soon as I can. This is the Liana tree. Grab all those vines for me. Thank you. Oh. Oh, I see her. Oh, I found Mama Pig. I found Mama Pig. I'm not Kermit. You don't have to run me down. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I've got like a... A minor cut. I'm not sure where that came from. I don't have those steam bandages to fix that either. Great. I've got a pig on one side and a jaguar on the other. <laughs> Neither of those sound good to me. Rather than take on the animals that are absolutely trying to murder me, I've decided to be very brave, actually, and go to the entryway to the cave up here. Huh. Oh. I didn't realize I was raiding Vesuvius. Uh, I was going to take that. So, oh, sorry there, Cobra. Pet doggy doesn't want a bar of it. Sit, sit, and oh. Yeah, there you go. Got your cover. We're all good. Take all your entrails and things, whatever I need them for later. Right. Well, if you were trying to be foreboding, you have succeeded. That, uh, that doesn't instill me with a great lot of good feelings. Oh, it gets way dark too. Yeah, that's, nah, that's, that's impossible. I can't get in there without my torch, and I don't have the means of lighting my torch right now. Okay, despite the fact I was actually trying to be prepared for once in my life, I'm definitely underprepared for everything I'm supposed to be doing here. There is a lot going on. Um, do you reckon, like, those big trees over there are what I need to do my cut? Oh. Oh, my God. I'm not going to get a chance to do cartography if I can't make it out of this pit. As soon as you draw the boat. Yep, they get real annoyed about it. Push you aside. Push you aside and stab. You gotta get good at the whole like deflecting thing. Oh, jeez, he's nibbling on me arm, but I'm somehow fending him off. Just stab, just stab. If in doubt, stab it out. Push him aside. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, we're extra fine. Look at ya, look at ya. Big and fearsome and fucking sausaged. Get absolutely wrecked. What are, what are those? Can I have... Can, oi, come here. Can I can I capture you and make you my friend? Can I pick you up? Pick up. No, no, run into the lava. No, Billy Goat. Don't do it. Billy Goat, Gruffin, whatever your little friend is. Stay away from the lava. You're fine. You're fine. I want to make you my friend. I want pet goats. Can I, can I make friends with the goats? I'd very much like to. I've immediately gotten distracted from what I was supposed to be doing, though, about trying to find the cartography tree, which I think will hopefully be that one over there. It's so dark, though. It's so dark. I can't see a sausage. I slept until morning, and it gave me an awful lot of negative effects. Do any of you heal the sniffles? I have a bit of a sniffle at the moment. Health regen, no. Some of the other stuff is back on the boat, actually, so okay. Well, I wanted to get to daytime so I could see what I'm dealing with here, because it's less of a cartography tree and more of just a fucking death tree. I don't know what baby wants this to be its mobile on top of its crib, but it's fucking morbid as shit. Are there any, like, animals or anything guard- Ooh. Guarding this? <gasps> More than or maybe baby mini goats. Come here. Come here. No, don't run into the thistles. I just want to pat you. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. Oh, I just want to have some friends. There's something on the ground over here. A diving mask recipe. Okay. You, diving mask. What do you need? Pieces of Ray's leather. Oh, geez, unlucky, Ray. Crafting resource can be crafted from dried... Oh, that kind of Ray. Okay, so I murdered the Electro Rays in the water. I've got the rest of that stuff already. That's fine. Look at that. Look, pearl and lovely that thing looks. That's bloody sick as donuts. Is there anything else around here somewhere? <gasps> Are you an iron mine? Are you an iron mine? No, you're just a stone deposit. What a tease. So there's no way for me to climb up the death tree to get my cartography done, which is a little bit upsetting because there's not really anything else around here that sticks out like a sore thumb like that one does. I guess maybe I've got to find somewhere better. Maybe I'm to like half peak or something up there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely burdened down with a lot of garbage. I don't need all the jackal trophies. You guys can go away. I've got a book to help my mapping, actually. I should read you before I do anything. I couldn't quite find a way to get up onto the very tippy top over there, but I have clambered up some sort of boulder. Please don't throw yourself off the side, please. 
All right, look, if that's not a good spot to do your mapping, I don't know what's going to be. Map you. Start mapping. There you go. There you go. That's what I was after. Couple of chests around the place. Iron deposit. There you go. A couple of iron... Iron and coal? Oh my goodness, if RuneScape taught me anything, that's how I can make some steel. We're going to freaking Alcadrid. There's a puma around there as well, and puma potion, coal and iron. So I reckon if I jump back on the boat, maybe even grab that chest and start banging about this side, that might be a good place for a base. I'm back on the boat. Whereabouts was that chest? Out there somewhere. Maybe like a shipwreck or something. Who knows? We'll find out in a second. I've left a fishing spot. That's okay. Where? Where is the chest of goodies? I want my goodie bag. I'll go on to a, po a birthday party. Give me my fairy bread and my lollies. Where? Where where's it going to be? I'm like... Oh. <laughs> the island's much smaller than I thought it was going to be. Do a you bagger? I went straight past it. There's no sign of any chest on me Ezio vision, but I'm... Basically right on top of it, so I guess I just I guess I just go looking. Any like kind of grottos or anything around here somewhere? I need my diving mask. Behind me. Over this place somewhere. I'm really trying to lock in on it. That looks like a chest to me. That looks like a chest to me. Old chest interaction with a riding kit. Uh okay. Uh I mean. I know people say the pen is mightier than the sword, but I would have rather a sword. There's just so much more to this island than I was expecting there to be. There's like giant causeway things over here. Um, there's all sorts of like little like buildings and little like points of interest all across the island over there. I'd love to go and explore them all. I wonder if there is actually going to be... Because I want to be down here. Tonight. I wonder if there is actually going to be a beach or something for me to dock up onto. Oh, jeez. Amongst all the freaking porcupine death area of a ship. This is a shipwreck alley. How could you ever make anything work through here? I'm going to try and throw the needle anyway. Yeah, all right. That's a, that's a long way up. I'm going to be, I reckon we shit out of luck. I'm going to be shit out of luck. I reckon they've seen me coming and been like, nah, absolutely not. No way you're making a sweet ass base right next to all the good valuable things. Unless, unless, what are you? Are you somewhere I can dock up and Oh, you are too, actually. Okay. I mean, that's a, a decent amount of potential at the very least. Let's go have a little gander up here. I'd love it to stop raining, though. Oh. What? Oh, two of them are from sulfur gas? Okay. I don't know how the pumas are living life large with sulfur gas everywhere. Maybe they're... Maybe they've got that breathing apparatus going on, which I thought was going to have to be for underwater stuff. The breathing bubble could be equipped on the head. Double oxygen supply for diving. Hang on. So that, so that's my scuba gear. But it says diving mask. Quadruple oxygen supply for diving. Okay, so it is definitely for that, but so I can't use you for... Ah, provide protection from sulfur gas. I need to get myself some... A plague mask going on. Fill it with herbs, make it smell nice. All right, fair enough. At least now I know. I'm just going to quickly navigate around the rest of the island just to see if I'm missing anything else. But at least now we know there's a secret back entrance. It's a little bit smelly with all the sulfur gas coming out of there. But I'll get up there at some point to get all the iron and the coal that I need. It's now very foggy though. I'm going to have to go back to my to my Copper Island base and get a bunch more materials. Need to come out here, make a dock in some sort of shack and really just find somewhere to set up base and get exploring. There's another little access point just there into what looks to be ooh, a bit of a dicey little cave. I reckon it's probably, yeah, I was going to say probably a lot of good stuff in there, but there's also... Ooh, a chest down here somewhere. There it is right there. Now I'm not looking for it. It's much easier to find. You. A bag of provisions and also nothing else. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind finding little secrets around the joint. I'm not going to use you in case they're important. I feel like some of these things might be like story items for later. And there's the glimmering lights of the underwater temple again. So I've done the complete you banger all the way around the island. All right. That's going to have to do us. I think that's going to have to do us for now. So I need to go back to my back to my base, get some more things to come back and be a bit more well suited to take on all that is that. 
I love that there's new content for this game. I missed playing this game. I'm glad to be back in it. It's one of my favorite new survival games by a margin. And I'm excited to delve right into it, find all the new stuff and explore all the new content. We'll have to come back and continue to explore new content and explore the volcano in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you have liked, make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.